क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ नेक्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल दैट इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर 3 ऑन इनिशियल वैल्यू एंड फाइनल वैल्यू थ्योरम ऑफ लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ इन टुडेस क्वेश्चन इज अ सिंपल x of s is equals to s plus 1 whole divided by s square plus 2 s plus 2 and we have to find out initial value and final value of x of s using a laplace transform so we are not going i'm not going to waste your time we'll solve directly we'll move on to initial value and then we'll solve a final value of x of s now the x of s is s plus 1 whole divided by s square plus 2 s plus 2 was the this was my our question Initial value theorem according to the formula of initial value theorem of Laplace transform x of zero is limit s tends to zero s into x of s. Here I am going to place value of question. We are going to substitute value of x of s in this formula. So x of zero So I have substituted x of s value in our formula. Now if we apply limits directly that is s tends to infinity then what you will get the whole term become infinity but if you go through the question then you can say that this s or this infinity value gets cancelled cancel means what if you are able to take 1 by s common from all of the equation for like you can say that from numerator and from denominator then you can say that 1 upon infinity or s tends to infinity this infinite value gets cancel cancel means this value becomes zero so just look at here in the numerator we already have s which is multiplied to the x of s and in numerator we have s plus 1 so if we are able to take this s common then the whatever term which is taken common that is s we have we are going to take a common that that s and this s become s square similarly look at here in the denominator we have a s square if you are able to take this s square common from the denominator then you can say that this s square and numerator s square will get cancel and if this s square get cancel then what will be there in equation let's see so right now i'm taking s square common from numerator and denominator basically from denominator i'm taking s square common and from numerator i'm taking only s common so what you have if i take s square common from the denominator this term will be replaced by 1 whereas that's what i have written over here and here we have only single s so this two will be divided by s and this two is a constant so we have to divide it by s square now you can say that s into s become s square and this s square gets cancel and then we will apply limits directly on that function so i am going to write only limits part and this part which is remaining part first this part will be remain as it is now apply limit s tends to infinity if you apply limit s tends to infinity then this one upon this s will be replaced by infinity this s is also replaced by infinity this is also replaced by infinity now we have infinity in the denominator of any term like if we have any integer it should not be equal to 0 but if we have any integer and it is divided by infinity then resultant is always zero means what this term is replaced by zero this term is replaced by zero and this term will also replaced by zero then what you will have in the bracket after applying limit then you will have 1 plus 1 upon infinity so this is how your equation will change this s is replaced by infinity that's what i have written over here this s is also replaced by the infinity and this s square is also replaced by infinity so what you will get 1 upon 1 because 1 upon infinity is 0 2 upon infinity is 0 and 2 upon infinity is also 0 so 1 upon 1 becomes 1 and this is the value of x of 0 now we will find out a next which is a final value of x of s let's see the procedure now 
we'll find out the final value of function x of s according to final value theorem for property of laplace transform x of infinity is limit s tends to 0 s into x of s is our formula now what i'm going to do i'm going to replace this x of by the given question now this is our question now in this type of in final value theorem no need to take s common from numerator and denominator if you take s common from numerator or any one of the term then you will get 1 by s and if we apply limit s tends to 0 then 1 by s that is s becomes 0 1 by 0 becomes infinity so only try to take s common in initial value theorem but not in final value just try to cancel out extra s if you have in denominator in final value theorem do not never take s common from numerator and denominator reason if you take s common from numerator and denominator then just look at here in numerator side if you take s common then this one becomes 1 by s and if we apply limits on it then 1 by s will be replaced by 1 by 0 and 1 by 0 becomes infinity means this whole calculation becomes infinite or gives infinite value so always remember one thing always take s common in initial value theorem property while solving initial value theorem property or you can say that while solving initial values do not try to take s common while solving final value theorem property now just look at here if we have a sig extra s in the denominator then try to cancel this multiplied s or this s which is multiplied with x of s if these two s's get cancelled then simply apply a limit and this all the s will become zero you will get a finite value but you don't have any extra s in the denominator then the resultant is always zero because this s will not get cancelled and if this is s is not getting cancelled then simply apply limits on whole function this s is replaced by zero and zero multiplied with anything always becomes zero so now right now i'm directly applying limits on this function i'm writing this term in the bracket so that you can understand understood why this whole function becomes zero now if we apply limits on it then what you will have zero into this s is replaced by zero in bracket we have a zero plus one Similarly, all this s is also replaced by 0. But there is no use of this half reason. It is multiplied by 0. So, our final value becomes 0. Because 0 is multiplied with this function. So, remember in final value theorem, just try to cancel this s if we have a s extra s in the denominator. So, this is the way to find out a Laplace properties that is initial value and final value or using a Laplace transform. Now, we will study a next numericals in next videos. So, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.